on the balloon and on the way. Hello, welcome to a rather special vlog that has been almost three years in the waiting. Flashback to October 2019 when my dad purchased a surprise gift voucher for me to go on a Virgin Experiences balloon flight. Due to COVID delays, generally hanging on until I could book a flight from Rutland Water and a cancellation due to poor weather conditions, there has been quite a long wait to get Skyward. Rutland Water is a very close natural attraction that I have visited often, but I was so excited to see the beauty spot from a different perspective. Here are some facts about Rutland Water. Rutland Water was created by damming the Gouache Valley. The reservoir's construction was completed in 1975. By surface area, it is the largest reservoir in England, but is beaten in maximum capacity by Kielder Water in Northumberland. The maximum depth of Rutland Water is 33 metres, which equates to 108 feet. The site covers 4,200 acres of open countryside. It is a haven for animals and humans alike. The site is a home for wildlife and also used for several different water sport activities. There is also a 23-mile perimeter track for walking and or cycling. It is filled by pumping water from the rivers Neen and Welland. Normanton Church is a majestic feature of the reservoir. It was saved from demolition back in 1970 when plans were outlined to flood the area to create the Rutland water we have come to know and love today. The church now sits safely on a new level of rubble topped with concrete above water level on its own peninsula. There are 1,000 acres of wild habitat at the site. Rutland Water Nature Reserve is a site of specific scientific interest, special protection area and a Ramsar wetland of international importance. Large areas of wetland as well as several small woods at the western end of the lake form a nature reserve managed by Leicestershire and Rutland Wildlife Trust. The area is designated a special protection area of international importance for its wintering populations of gadwall, some 4% of this species' European population, and Shoveler. It is home to the Anglian Water Bird Watching Centre. Every August, the centre is the venue for the British Bird Watching Fair. Other birds found here are Lapwing, Coot, Goldeneye, Tufted Duck, Pochard, Teal, Widgeon, Cormorant, Great Crested Grebe and Little Grebe. Home to the Rutland Osprey project, Osprey were reintroduced to the area during 1996, including one called Mr Rutland. In 2021, there were 26 Ospreys in the area of Rutland. In early 2021, an ichthyosaur fossil was discovered during the routine draining of a lagoon at the reservoir. A temnodontosaurus with a skeleton measuring about 10 metres in length and a skull weighing about a ton. It is the largest and most complete fossil of its kind found in the UK. It also has a limnological tower which is to study the reservoir's ecological conditions. The lake is stocked with brown trout and rainbow trout but there is a large head of coarse fish populated by water pumped in from the River Welland and River Neen. Species include roach, bream, pike, zander, perch, eel, wells, catfish and carp. In the Rutland Water Nature Reserve 2021 annual report, there were some interesting statistics for biodiversity and wild population numbers. 24 species of butterfly were recorded, 32 species of bee recorded, 443 species of moths were recorded, 19 osprey chicks fledged, 30 avocet chicks fledged, 41 great white egrets were counted, which is the current largest count at the site. I feel very fortunate to have shared this experience with my dad. I honestly felt that the weather would not permit the flight to go ahead. I have to say that the entire experience was very unique and physical as we were all encouraged to participate in the inflating and deflating of the balloon. So sit back, watch the logistics of getting a pretty large hot air balloon into the sky and back down again and I'll probably throw a few statistics in there, maybe some inspired poetry too. I would definitely encourage anyone that is brave enough to take a hot air balloon flight. It is definitely a different way to see the world and offers a beauty that you can't really feel any other way in terms of flight.
there's very little to kind of separate you from the world. You can reach out and touch the sky, look over the basket and see the ground. It seems like everything sounds a little different up there too. I hope you've enjoyed this video and see you next time.
we are skywards, temporarily bidding terra firma goodbye. There is no resistance as we rise higher and travel forward. No breeze to cool the skin from the intensity of the flame. No physical reminder that you are airbound at all. It is all felt with the ice. A matchbox world below, a patchwork of moments stitched together by time. I no longer feel part of it, detached by air and clouds. We are naturally flightless creatures, but have fortune to attain weightlessness, beholding the earth in distant splendour as life blooms beneath the basketed feet. My life feels suspended somehow. Then, branches bend and snap, grass crumples under the unexpected weight as the basket roughly kisses the ground and our lives once again intertwine with the world. Yeah. Uh -huh.